Soon the Elder's vision will be complete, and the Avatar will rise to fulfill the long-awaited prophecy. Uh, what else? Avenger oh, yeah. plotting new course. doing the Avenger power scan. Hopefully we can get that done before the next uh, bad thing happens. We know where the Chosen Stronghold is located, but it's too heavily fortified for us to just march right in there. We'll need to coordinate with the Resistance to find a way in. Yay, supplies. Hmm, we could build another Resistance comms. Definitely gonna need those. Resistance Communications Facility Construction Initiated. Could learn something. Oh, no, black market gear was lost. The chosen are doing whatever it takes to slow us down. We need to watch out for their sabotage attempts. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Start hunting down the chosen warlock. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. And we also got another engineer, so... Let's put one right here, actually. So we can increase our... So we can increase our contact count. So I can after this, then we can go get some of these contacts. Ooh, exosuit complete. Heavy armor combines reinforced advent plating with a powerful exoskeleton, offering superior protection and damage resistance coupled with a wrist mount rocket launcher. With further study, we can unlock additional heavy weapons options for this suit. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Having completed our analysis of the substance, tentatively referred to as Alarium-115, it's clear that this material is unlike any other naturally occurring element on Earth. Presumably, the aliens extracted their undoubtedly extensive stores of Valerium from another planet, but that is beyond my capacity to surmise. What I do know with certainty is that this element is incredibly reactive when exposed to high-energy particle fields, providing a source of nearly limitless power that defies all known efficiency standards. Unfortunately, I see no means of replicating or synthesizing this substance with the resources available to us on Earth. The materials we recover from the aliens themselves will likely constitute the entirety of our available stockpile. Commander will have to be careful in choosing how to allocate these precious resources. Our Tigan. New facility upgrade. Yay! Autopsy now instant. Autopsy now instant. Hooray! More autopsies. Personally, Oops. I find the chosen disconcerting. The elders' attempt at humanizing our enemy will make it all the more difficult for our troops to face them in battle. Yes, Commander. Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. Having never seen any of the previous muton variants personally, I can only go by the stories I've heard from Central Officer Bradford and, office and others. As they say, the current breeds are apparently on the smaller side, although considerably more agile than the originals. Internally, the subject maintains all the hallmarks of extensive genetic modification, with additional musculature and bone protecting the internal organs from any risk of direct contact. 
The aliens clearly spent a great deal of time and effort honing the abilities of the Muton as a frontline combat soldier. I had heard that our soldiers believed the Mutons to be part of a tribal society, at least originally, based on their unusual battle cries and marking seen in the field. Having finally gotten a closer look, I can confirm the presence of an unusual scarification that could certainly be attributed to ritualistic behavior of some kind. R. Tigan. Ray, advanced grenade launcher, and plasma grenades. That's going to be super useful. Faceless autopsy. One time, the Thin Men were the most advanced infiltration units that was available to the aliens. Now we face a species capable of making the human form at will. If we can come to understand how it is that they emulate us so effectively, perhaps we could develop a tool to deceive them ourselves. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the Faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures, or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? Early reports from the Resistance referencing an alien creature said to be capable of shapeshifting were initially dismissed by local cell leaders who attributed the sightings to combat stress and malnutrition. It wasn't until our own forces engaged with the creature that we successfully confirmed its existence. Surprisingly enough, the description of the creature from those early reports was quite accurate. With a varying height of up to 3 meters, the specimen currently referred to as the Faceless has one of the most unusual internal structures I've ever encountered. Where one might expect to find a skeletal foundation, we instead see a series of malleable chitin-like structures providing various points for the expansion of several equally unusual fluid membranes. The membranes in question are responsible for the faceless extraordinary ability to mirror the form of a human. In recirculating key cellular combinations via an elaborate internal structure, the faceless is capable of forming solid shapes while also mirroring colors and textures without physical sampling. As of yet, we've only seen evidence of the faceless attempting to imitate humans, but not other species or inanimate objects. Whether or not this is a limitation of their genetic makeup or an intentional manipulation of their abilities by the aliens, we cannot say at this time. R. Tigan. Need more alloys for this one. Alright, I guess it's time to do the alien encryption. Unlike the conventional encryption methods we would typically encounter with terrestrial data storage, the alien appears to be using an advanced matrix and I already read this, didn't I? I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Passing a little above the terrain, we spotted smoke rising from the remains of what was once a radio station and broadcast tower. Although the station itself is long since dormant, someone had rigged up a simple repeater of using materials from the tower. Our engineering team was able to remove its pieces of its generator and adapt them to boost the Avenger's power core. Yay, Avenger power! So, you figured out a new trick, eh? I'm not sure it will do you any good. It's certainly not going to scare me off. Oh, speaking of which, we should probably check the black market. Our action together is complete, Commander. We've just received some new intel on the Chosen, Commander. Slowly but steadily, our faith in your word grows, Commander. With our success, comes the opportunity for you to assign us new orders, Commander. Our influence with the Resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. Oh cool, we can actually start the, the quest to hunt the Chosen Assassin for real.
And let's get a Reaper out there too. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Let's Commander will need to completely scan this region before we can establish contact with the local resistance. I'd advise we stick around and finish the job, but the choice is yours. Market is open. Ah, right. The Chosen actually uh, stopped, uh, stole the black market store, so there's nothing to buy. Guess we'll have to wait till next month. Setting course for Sector 5, India. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Well, what do we got? New targets. Counter the major breakthrough. Counter the hidden event. Uh, speaking of which, I should probably know, read what the hidden event is. Admin Overwatch shots will always miss admin troops. Oh, poop. That's always going to be terrible. And I don't like the two blocks being added to our already perilous progress. Yeah, let's go with this one. Setting course for Sector 12, East Africa. Commander, I've got trace chemical readings throughout that area showing a mix of volatile compounds. If we're not careful, that whole place could end up on fire. On fire, eh? That's not good. That's not good at all. Actually, this is like a good time to test out the exosuit. The EXO armor suit gives our soldiers the power they need to handle heavy weapons, with the durability to match. Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. Our readings indicate that Advent just powered up some kind of psionic transmitter in this area. And if they're assuming no one knows about it yet, it shouldn't be that well guarded. If we can take it down quickly, Advent's operations across this entire region will be in disarray. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Remember, Commander, there are extremely volatile materials scattered throughout this area. We need to make sure our troops are clear of any possible explosions. Volatile, schmolatile. We'll be fine. Ten four. Getting it done. Roger. Roger that. Go, go, go. You hear that? Yeah. 
Advent has almost cut off the transmitter from their network. We're running out of time. Well, I can't really get there that fast, Bradford. Hostile forces spotted. Oh, well, we found a hostile forces. Our readings indicate that Relay is feeding energy directly into their network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. Ah, oh, these guys are very close. I'm on it. Massima attenzione. I'm on it. Eyes on the prize. Overwatch. That's so we can open up by hacking the mech. Hey, wires it go. What do we got? 69% to temper stun the unit. Nice. And 35% chance to hack the unit. Hmm. Get control of it. Uh. Let's go to safer option. No, you know what? No, yeah, let's go with the safer option. We're all grouped up together and we don't want the explosions. Yep. That was a good choice. Piece of cake. Shut down, two turns. Shutting it down didn't actually alert them. <laughs> Target neutralized. We've been spotted. Hostile terminated. Venice one five. They're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. Not while I'm around. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. On your order. Wow. You missed with a Gatling gun up close. It's definitely a good thing we decided to shut it down, then. Ordine ricevuto. Mi muovo. Turn. Trading ammo fast. Heading out. On the move. Let's 
Scanning protocol, go. Okay, there's some bad guys that away. Heading out. On Overwatch. Location confirmed. I hear some heavy footsteps. Overwatch. Let's do this. Overwatch. Raggiungo la posizione. Here I come. Got it covered. Moving to position. Come get some. We've got the objective in sight. That's a confirmed visual on the transmitter. Plant the X-4 charges before they can cut it off from the network. Absolutely. Gotta make sure there's no one around. Yes. Mi tengo pronta. Oh no, there they are. And there's the ruler too. To take this thing down once and for all, Commander. Let's get it done. Looks like one of them came back for more. Let's make sure to take it out this time. Oh, for one, let's plant the charge. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. I'm on it. Is equal. Heading out. Run away. Jeez, how do you miss a target that big? At least we got some damage out.
Come get some. D'accordo. Slashing time. Enemy is still up. Ah, I need help. Hate it when that happens. And more baddies show up. Great. Oh no, not Tipper. Should I be trying to make you a hero, Tipper? You will be Don't missed. Let that thing escape. It's trying to open another rift. I don't think we have much of a choice in the matter. Idea why I'm struggling to get decent data from Twitch today. I don't know, maybe just the internet is bad today or something. I'm running low on ammo. Tanti saluti. Hostiles coming in from the side. Tra poco devo ricaricare. Transmitter is history. Good work, Commander. All citizens who were present during today's dissident attack must report to peacekeepers for processing. Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will screen you for the presence of any harmful biological agents. Cooperation is mandatory. Let's 
will stand as a reminder to you, Commander. Until you return to your place at the Elder's side, all who would stand with you in defiance will suffer the same fate. The Chosen are gonna do whatever it takes to get to you, Commander. Even if that means wiping out entire camps of Resistance supporters. We're their only line of defense. Infirmary complete. Commander, the infirmary can be used to improve the recovery process of our wounded soldiers. And over time, they'll also recuperate from any negative conditions they've picked up in combat. We can also speed up the process through therapy if needed. And another big... And another powerful alien is guarding that facility. Yay! Resistance communications facility now operational. Uh, let's get a plasma Interesting today. choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Exosuit complete. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Before we can even begin to attempt decrypting the alien data stores, we must first come to understand the means by which they protect their most valuable data. It was immediately clear that the aliens do not so rely solely on conventional algorithms, but instead use a complex matrix of interwoven biological signatures as part of the cipher itself. An additional layer of protection is afforded by an ongoing field of psionic interference tied directly into the advent network itself. If we're to have any chance of defeating multiple safeguards the aliens have in place, it's likely we'll have to design specialized equipment to isolate each layer of encryption before we attempt to press on with our investigation. Our Tigan. New facility available. Shadow Chamber. Plasma Rifle Inspired. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. Commander? I think we can actually get rid of this power relay so we can build something else in there later. I saw Tygen muttering to himself in one of the corridors. I'm not sure he even noticed me. Bradford trusts him, but I'm still keeping my eyes open. We're picking up indications of the Elder's Warlock actively working in this region. Regional contacts located. is spreading beyond the resistance and soon the whole world will be watching are you ready to put on a show setting course for sector 14 east asia attempting to establish local regional contact Machinery cleared. Let's build the shadow chamber. Oh wait, but then I can't remove this. Hmm. We might need more supplies. Shadow chamber construction initiated. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. It looks like we've got some new information on the Chosen after our last covert up. If we want to take out the Chosen once and for all, we should move to strike their stronghold. The Resistance has found our access point. We just have to make use of it. Cool. Now we can do the mission to kill the Chosen Assassin once and for all. 
We'll do that later. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Uh, I find someone to have a chance to move after performing a melee attack. Chosen tactics are beginning to influence the Elder's other forces, perhaps in the same way the Commander once did. Plasma grenade, complete! Now all our grenades become plasma grenades! Proving ground project available. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. I'm coming for you, Commander. There will be no further delays. One of the Chosen is getting closer to finding us, Commander. We should use every opportunity we have to take them out before that happens. Understand, Commander. And we get supplies instantly. Yay. The Chosen have already learned too much about our operations, Commander. If we don't work with the Resistance on a covert action to hunt them down, we're going to end up on the defensive. Power relay upgraded. Commander, we have a line on the Chosen Warlock here. You have destroyed a vessel of the Elder's wisdom. And with it comes your opportunity at understanding the knowledge it contained. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the Resistance. Commander, after seeing your magnificent forces in battle, a Templar champion seeks to join you and serve the cause. If you would order us, Commander, we will undertake a new means of disrupting the Elders and their false vision. Maybe once this is all over, we should take this ship and go colonize one of their planets. And the only thing that's left is resistance comms and laboratory. Laboratory construction initiated. At one point, I thought about trying to bring in an advent mech to see if we could integrate the Gremlin AI. The idea being to bolster our staff with robotic assistance. I eventually decided not to bring it up to Central or Tigan, at least not until things settle down some. <laughs> 